Oh my god, Roy, Roy. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah. That's a King Kong. King Kong! Those are <laughs> those fell over. <laughs> Dude, that's a Is big one. Yeah, look at it. Can you bring it? You're not on. Dude. Look at that. What is up, my adventure crew? Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. If it's your first time here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back aboard. Before you watch this video, you need to watch part one of what happened went down yesterday. So click up there, I believe, in the link, or it's up there, and watch yesterday's video before watching this video and come back to this video, because this is part two of the video. But uh, we're late. we're starting off where we left off. I got Roy Boy over here, taking the pelus off. The got some dental pelus, taking the dental pelus out. We're gonna be doing some drifts with some dental pelus. Hopefully, get some action, and then we're gonna try to catch some impachi, some taape, whatever we can catch bottom fishing tonight. I get to about midnight or so. Uh, but if it's your first time here, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Every time you hit the like button on this channel, you save a dolphin who's right there. Watch him. You saw him. Okay, so hit the like, hit the subscribe. We're gonna sit back, we're gonna sit up, we're gonna get rigged up, and then uh, I'm just gonna see if we make something happen. See if we can get some bottom fish for sure. But you gotta watch the first video first. We got some, we got a couple of lures. We got a, a porgy, a porgy, uh, Hamachi, or we call it Kahala, or you guys call it Amberjack. There's so many names for it. But go watch the first video because it's, it's straight action. Some Opelus, and uh, I guess here we go. This is part two. So I didn't get my lights yet, so maybe a little darker now, guys. But I'm gonna bust on my lights pretty soon. But uh, we're gonna be going from Impachi. This is key for catching Impachi, especially from shore. I never used it on the boat yet, but I know for sure, for sure, from shore. These flash bombs are definitely the key. The only place that sells them is highfishery.com. Local tackle shops in Hawaii sell them, but they flash all different colors. You can even use these for deep dropping. So I'm gonna use this. I have a uh, 30 pound fluorocarbon coming all the way up with six branches. Six branches with an eight ounce lead. And then for the for the bait I'm using, I got all my own tied damashis, right? I use these once before against my own tied ones. And from Mipachi, these ones from High Fish Gear are exceptional. Like super, super good. Like that's why I rigged a whole bunch of them. These work super, super good from Mipachi from High Fish Gear. Links will be in the bottom for everything you see here. This stuff is good. So I tied a whole bunch. So we're just gonna rig this up, get ready to go. And once it gets a little more darker, it'll be game time. So like I said, we're just using the the flies from High Fish Gear and the flash bomb. So we're gonna make Roy Boy a with this flash bomb today. He's like, I don't know, I was like, but I'm telling you. The flash bomb is the action. So all the way down to the bottom, we hit the bottom, and then uh, we'll bounce it and then we'll reel up. Once you get touched down, we'll, we'll... Okay, we hit the bottom, and then reel up, and just gonna jig it now. You got? What you got? Roy Boy with the small mipachis, this is what we're after. That's what we're after right there. Kind of on the small side. Looking for the dozers. Looking for the good side. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got one now. We're on, boys. We're on. And girls, and girls. We're on. We're on. I think we just went over a little hole, huh? Oh, that's a good side. That's a good size, huh? So this is what we're after right here. So nighttime predatory fish, Mipachi. They feed at night, that's why the big eyes. Alright, let's get some more. So you think we're just gonna hit the bottom? Let's hit the bottom. I'm gonna kinda of bounce on the bottom, but over here it has a lot of cracks, so we don't wanna get stuck. I'm kind of just gonna hit the bottom, we're trying to just float over the bottom pretty much. He's on. on. Yep. Got him on. Yeah, so he's been Pachi's hiding like holes and cracks in the reef, so why don't you go with those kind of like, little areas? We should be hooking up to him. So I just got hooked up and Roy Boy got hooked up, so definitely went over like a little crack in the reef or something. That's a nice one. Maybe kind of small. Yeah, yeah. Let him leave. 
small and throw them back. There's no size limit or bag limit on these guys, but you gotta take care. You can't just take them all home, you know what I mean? We move spots, first drop, Roy Boys are on. Oh shit, I'm on too. One big one. That's a good size one. Oh, oh, there's some big ones over here. I think I got two on, two dozers. I broke, the last big one I had, I broke Lana one, I guess. There we go. Oh, here we go. Now's the, the, the telltale, what do we got? Only one. Damn toppies. We didn't want that. It's really good fried though. So another blue line snapper, really good eating frying. Uh, maybe we'll do a catch cook of that, we'll see. We're gonna move spots again. Over here is too deep. So the benefit to tying like a, your own main branch is, I broke one off, so I can take this off, throw this away. And what I can do is, I try a dropper loop, but you see how it stays out, stays away. So it kind of helps you from getting tangled. So all we're gonna do is reattach this new one. So loop to loop. Put a loop through there. Loop to loop, you like that alright boy? Yeah. And this is just one I tied on my own. My own down machine. And then there we go. We're back on the game. So I tied my own with just a my own down machine and then a, a glow bead. So back on, back on it. I don't think any bites yet. I got bites, but oh, there it is. There it is. On the way up, I got one. Oh, I got a big one on the way up. Yeah, he's like right off the bottom. Kind of small. Little guy. Those eyes are so crazy, though. Like and subscribe, please. Thank you. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. This is the one we want, boys. This is the one dreams are made of. Oh, watch this one, Roy. Oh, boy. It's a small one, too. Oh, not bad. It's a keeper. Oh, I got a nail. It's a keeper. Another one for the bucket. Oh, there it is. That's a big one. That's a dozer. Doubles, doubles, doubles. Oh, I just kicked water all over my camera lens. That's one. One on my fly. The fly I made. See, so my flies work. My flies work. Oh, yeah. Red boy's on. Look at that action. Look at that action. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, rare. Right that's all men potches right there. Look at that. You can tell. Right off the bottom. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a dozer. <laughs> so we're just going to dump our first bucket load in there. Not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, you will put the hoop back. That's not funny. Hello, Opelu. All right. Come on. Come on, Roy. Am I still on, Roy? What do you think? We got a dozer. Dozer. <laughs> Dozer! <laughs> Get the girl! Back to him! <laughs> oh my oh. god! Yeah, let that one go. I bleed for you guys. I bleed for you guys. Hit the like button. Did it for you guys. Cut me up. This, this there, there'd be a small one, boys. Oh, actually, oh, I think I just got another one just jumped on just now. Might be a coolie on the way up, you know. Yeah. I think I'm a uh, coolie on the way up. Oh, yeah. A coolie on the way up, and I think I got a mipachi on the bottom. Nope, just a coolie. Weird, you know, the mipachi came off. I don't know I kicked a coolie versus the mipachi anyway. 
a cool year, big guy scared. <coughs> Probably one of the best E5. Oh, dude, this guy swallowed it. Yeah, they all in his throat. That's a good size right there. Oh, that's a good one for fry. Hey, you know what, though? Yeah. You know how the tell coolies? They bit right next to light, huh? They like Both of them bit by the top. Oh, this is a dozer, Roy. I'm telling you, Roy. Oh, my God, Roy. Whoa! Get off him. <laughs> Dude, that's a big one, huh? <laughs> dozer! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a dozer right there. That's all right. Let me see. No, oh, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Check them out. Oh, that's a big one. I don't know, maybe a coolie. That's a coolie. Should be at the top. Oh my god, oh, that's a dozer coolie, dude. Dude, that's a dozer coolie, right? I got so much of coolie, right? I can give you some now. <laughs> dude, look at that coolie, Roy. Ow! Dude, that's like the biggest, that's like the biggest I've ever got in my life. We don't have this kind on the west side. On the west side, we don't have this size. Look at that thing. Oh my God. That thing is about the size of, about, ah, uh, nah. What is that? What is that? You. No way. Yeah. You spit it out? White you. Is it? Yeah. See, that's a fly that you eat. Oh, hold on, look at that dozer. That's a dozer right there. You gotta see if something in there. Oh, look at all the food. Wow, that's, that's a big tall. Look at that tall. These are invasive species also. I wanna see this. It's a baby white eel? Yeah. No way, that's a sea snake. A baby white eel, look at that. That's a, that's a totally white yellow too. That's crazy. That's crazy. Look at that. That's so cool. How many hooks did you put on here? Six, I think. I think this might be a coolie, maybe. <laughs> There's two. There's two. Bring them over. Don't lose our coolies, Roy. I'm going to drop Oh, these are dozers, huh? Like Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, the flash bomb for a coolie supposedly is like supposed to be really, really good. <laughs> I'm on. I got a coolie on. Really? Yeah, I was just trying to baby the line on the way down so I get the coolie bite. <laughs> Normally for a coolie, you gotta put a light out. Yeah, you really need a light though. That flash bomb really brings our coolies in for sure. If you like catch a coolie, get some flash bombs. Oh, <laughs> Holy crap! That's the biggest I've ever caught in my life. Probably, yeah. Dude, that's like the biggest I've ever caught in my life. Oh yeah. Right, look at how cool big it is. <laughs> Holy crap! That's a pound. Dude. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Dude, that cool is a shotgun and a half. Yeah. Yeah, it's a oh, nice. Well, that's that's. <laughs> Don't lose him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you almost lost him! Uh, oh, good thing you didn't catch a lion. Normally I catch a lion. Barracudas. That guy right there was probably doing damage to his akuli pal. So slow drop down, just bounce it. I told you those flash bombs guaranteed. Oh, I'm on again. Do the flash bombs, I'm telling you. Flash bombs for akuli. Unbelievable. Yeah, so, so. <laughs> no comparison, huh? Yeah, it's game over. Yeah, fl <laughs> flash bombs for akuli. Definitely a game changer. I lose my last one at the top. Roy boy got his. Flash bomb. Flash bomb. Links will be in the bar if you want them. And use a raw five discount code for five percent off. Don't say I never did anything for you. It's weird. It's like you can just stop it midway down, and they're attracted to the lights. They come down and check everything out. Yeah. yeah. Like, what's that pretty light going? There's a disco down there. Follow the light. Now, cool. If I top to bottom, that's why, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah. What is this? You have to come check out the flies. Like, what is that? Ow! <laughs> ah! Oh, that hurt. Dude, my fingers still into that hook. That hurt. Oh, that one got me good. Really? Yeah, that was a good one. 
Get him slowly. Get him slowly. Time to move spots again. Yeah, I'm waiting for you, Roy boy. Let's see it. One, two. Oh, good size ones, though. Some big mapaches, though. The dozers. The guy came up to us on his boat and he's yelling, Dozers! You guys get dozers? Because <laughs> Roy was yelling, Dozers, super loud. He put a dead old pelu on it, he dropped it down. Yeah, I'll show you one time before we go home. It wasn't even down there for five minutes. Oh, it wasn't even down there for five minutes. He's like, yeah, I'll show you how to catch a barracuda. How'd you call that? How'd you know this barracuda be over here? Hey, I've been fishing these grounds for over 35 years. <laughs> Why, we always got those? Oh, yeah, I Dude, that was in five minutes. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do for our catching cook is we have a coolie. Literally one of my most favorite fish to eat <laughs> ever. So, I'm gonna show you how to make a, a, a coolie pokey with it, okay? And then I'm gonna show you how to do something that Roy Boy told me I should do with the akuli. So it's it's a cooking way to cook the bones afterwards, which is sounds sounded pretty interesting. I was like, all right, well, Roy Boy, I'll try it out. So I'm gonna show you how to make pokey with it. I've already cleaned it and gill and gilled and gutted it already. So we're just gonna take the fillets off. We're gonna skin it, and then we're gonna make pokey with it. For our pokey, it's very very basic pokey. We're gonna use a sweet onion. We're gonna use sesame seed oil. Just regular shoyu sauce and a little Hawaiian salt. So we don't need the head, we're gonna take off the head. The key to a good fillet job is a sharp knife. That is the most important thing to a good fillet job. One fillet off there. There's pretty much no meat left on there. So I consider that a pretty clean fillet job. Not much meat left on there. Take out this rib bone right here, because this is rubbish. Take out the center bone. Okay, so we got it like this now. And we're just gonna we're just gonna cube this up. So I'm gonna do the rest of these and then we'll be right back. So we have our akuli all diced up. Um with the akuli, I know some people are gonna say you can leave the skin on, you know it's all preference. I prefer not to have the skin on there, so I take the skin off. It's an extra step. You don't need to do it, but I prefer the skin off. So make the pokey very, very simple. This is Hawaiian style pokey. Show you onion pokey, which is my favorite way to eat it. Um, just gonna use sweet onion. Probably not gonna use all of it because it's not that much in there. We got maybe about a, a quarter pound of fish in there at the most. So we're just gonna dice up the onion. So add a little Hawaiian salt. Just enough to taste. We're gonna add some sesame seed oil. This is pretty much just enough to coat it. You don't wanna overdo it because it'll give you the squirts. You have to like put a lot to get the squirts, so just don't overdo it. So all we're gonna do now is we're gonna mix it up before we have to show you, because the show you is like the last thing. Just gonna mix it up, and we're gonna taste it. And then from there, we'll add a little show you. So I really like the onions in there, so I add a lot of onions. Everything's to taste. Yeah, whatever you want to taste, pretty much. You know what I mean? You can even add some cuckoo nut, which I don't have, so there's no cuckoo nut in this today. Normally there's cuckoo nut. And we're gonna add just a little aloha show you. Okay, so let's go take these bones down. Fire these bones up, we'll come right back to this. So they're pretty much done. They're floating well, now. It's going in and out of focus now for some reason. All right, so we got our pokey all done. And uh, we got our Akuli center bones all fried up. One for me, one for Alicia, who's filming the camera. <laughs> so, this pokey, super good. It's been sitting for a little while. Let's try it out. Let me give you my, my opinion about this. Akuli pokey. That's good stuff. Akuli is super nice. It's a real firm, crunchy type of meat. I really like Subtle flavor. It's not like ahi or anything like that. But super, super good meat. It's really good. And then for this, we just deep fry them. Deep fry them until they pretty much floated. There's some bones in there, but 
in theory, they should be crunchy. Oh my god! Like a potato chip. Oh. You gotta try this. What's this stuff? That's super good. So, thanks for wishing, fishing with me. I hope you enjoyed Sunday's bonus footage. I will see you next week, Saturday. Again, 7 p.m. Hawaii time. As always, weather's gonna be terrible this coming week, so I gotta find something to do. I don't know if we can go fishing or dive because it's gonna be really, really bad weather this coming week, but we'll figure out something. It's gonna be a different episode for sure. But as always, thanks for fishing with me. Tight line, stay fishing. I will see you on the water or under the water. You gotta try this. Hit the subscribe if you're new here. Hit the like, and I'll see you guys next week, Saturday. Oh, that looks super good, Alicia. You gotta try this. That crunch of the softness, it's heaven in a bowl. Here, try yours. It's so crunchy. Is it good? It's good.